Yes, what do you have? Well, I was wondering if you could tell me how to get to the Gale estate. I've been looking for Gale Road, but I seem to be lost. Oh, you uh, thinking of buying that place? No, I'm hoping to get the job of caretaker up there. Hmm. Well, if you take my advice, young lady, you go right back where you came from. You can't need a job that bad. Oh, as a matter of fact, I do. So please, could you tell me how to get there? All right. I don't give you more than two or three days, if that. I remember I told you. Oh, I don't think I quite understand. There's been a lot of strange things happening up there at the Gale Estate that us people down here in the village don't understand. They're a peculiar lot, those Gales. I see. Well, thanks for the advice, anyway. Now, could you tell me how to find it? It's up to you. You got your mind made up. Well, you go up this road about a half a mile till you come to a sign that says Gale Place. Then you turn up Eucalyptus Grove, and the house is on the right. You can't miss it. Thanks. Goodbye. See you in a couple of days. Lively? Yes. Hello. Come in. Thank you. I didn't expect you so soon. I'm Lorna Gale. Well, I, I didn't realize it was such a short trip from Ventura. Father built it just two years before the 29 crash. Back in those days, you were camping out unless you had a music conservatory in a bowling alley. Has it been empty long? No, just a few months. Uh, my cousin was the last caretaker. Uh, would you come with me, Miss Langley? Yes. where Jennifer lived, my cousin. Originally, it was the servants' quarters. You can live anywhere you like, though. She liked it here. Oh, no, this will be fine. Your letter offered room and 150 a month. Yes, that's right. Well, I was just packing some of my cousin's things. I'll help you. Uh, did you know the Rands in Ventura? Uh, Barbara Rand and I went to boarding school together. I think I've heard the name. Your cousin will want these. No, she won't be back. I guess we could throw them away. They're worthless. Besides, I, I wouldn't know where to send them. She won't be back. She disappeared one day. I'm sorry. Well, it's in the hands of the Bureau of Missing, whatever it is. I'm sure they'll find her. Oh, I suppose you have your usual references. Yes. You left your last job four months ago? 
I know I, I haven't been too well. I do need this job badly. Oh, that reminds me. We'll have to connect that phone. Oh, no, that won't be necessary. I haven't... Can you move in immediately? Tomorrow, Saturday. Yes, that's as good a day as any. If you need anything, just get in touch with Jim Hollis. He takes care of the place. A and it won't be too lonely. The village is only ten minutes away. Oh, I don't mind being alone. I'm used to it. Well, nice having you. Thank you. And don't forget, you're going to send me Jenny's thing. I'm not much good at this sort of thing. She seems a sensible person. Be sure and help her out if she needs anything, will you? Sure. Do you think that one gardener can handle this entire place, even in winter? Try it. Save six hundred dollars. Heaven knows the place is a drain. I wish someone would finally buy it. Do the best I can to sell it. I haven't received a bill yet for the repairs to the roof, have you? Won't be much. One small leak. I hope it's the only one.
Uncle Jim Hollis. I got the grocery store on the end, down at the Springs. Lord of Gale asked me to look in on you. As long as I was coming up, I brought the rest of your groceries. Good scotch. Thank you. What is it? I was thinking about Jennifer. Look, Miss Langley. Thousands of people disappear every year for purely personal reasons. Too many bills, too much wife, not enough wife, too much love, not enough love. They just walk off quietly into the night. I wouldn't worry about it. This is her diary. I know it was wrong, but I read some of it. Monday. I'm clothes. Tuesday, paint closets blue. Strange. She painted everything blue. She even painted the sewing machine blue. It, it, it isn't what's in the diary that's so important. What is important? What happened right after I put it down? What happened? I felt that someone had been in here. When I put the diary down, it read Wednesday, wrote the letters today. When I came back, it read Saturday. Oil the sewing machine. Pages couldn't have turned themselves. Maybe there was a draft. No. There was someone in this house, and they've been reading the diary. I'll get a flashlight.
Well, I looked all around. There's not a trace of anyone. You know, in an old house like this, you'll never hear almost anything. Mice, termites, or maybe just the house settling. I wouldn't worry about it. Maybe you're right. If you like, you can stay at the end of that. No, no thanks. I'm already beginning to feel pretty silly about this. Happens to me all the time. Well, thank you for the groceries. Is it all right if I get my cigarettes? Oh, yes, of course. Good night. Good night. See you soon. Good morning, Miss Langley. Morning. Did I leave something out last night? No. I have that list of yours around here somewhere. Where is that list? Molly, where is that list of Miss Langley? She says I left something out last night. Oh, just a minute. No, you didn't leave out anything. I forgot something. Let's be sure, Miss Langley. Let's be sure. You're new here. I'm old here. Check everything. You'll know that when you've been here long enough. Molly, where is that slip? Look, all I want is a box of Kleenex, a can of frozen orange juice, and some clothespins. How do you like living at the Gale Estate? I remember when they built it. You do? Of course. Why would I forget it? Like it was yesterday. Now, don't you go disappearing like that Jennifer Brown. Did you know her? Of course. Talk to her over the phone. Nobody's ever seen her. She didn't know us anything. They usually do when they disappear. Morning, Miss Langley. I've got my own theory about Jennifer. Before you can tell why Jennifer went away, you have to know who she was and what she really wanted. At least that's what I think. He don't know any more than anybody else. I think she ran away. That's different from disappearing. You'll find her in the hills one day, mark my word. They look for her in the hills. You're talking about that Gale caretaker? Mm, this is the new one, Miss Langley, Mrs. Uh, Canaway. Another woman. I didn't see the other one, but I always thought that maybe she found some money on the estate and stole it and just disappeared. She never came into the store. We delivered everything. We'd bill her and she'd send us a check. I've seen her. He's seen everything. I've seen her. What did she look like? She was blonde and sort of washed out looking. He's never seen her. I want some coffee. I'll get it, Mrs. Kennedy. I did too, once. An apple or an orange jumped out of the bag and rolled from the back porch to the kitchen. I went in to get it, and she was there, and I saw her. She was just about your size. Out of five. Thank you. There was no hot water this morning. How do I have it turned on? Oh, I know how you fix the pilot light for the water heater. He knows everything, too. Would you? I'd appreciate it. Morning. Good morning. I'll be up at noon. She's sort of attractive. Who? Miss Langley. Of course. I wonder what Jennifer really looked like.
Damped on here. Suppose the heat hasn't been turned on since Jennifer left. I wonder who turned it off. Why wouldn't Jennifer? In my theory, she couldn't have. Something prevented her. What do you mean? Well, the rumor is that Jennifer worked for a prominent attorney in Los Angeles. His name was Samson. There were a lot of papers missing. Samson's papers. What kind of papers? Oh, legal papers, I guess, or personal. Not only from Samson, but from some of his clients. No one can be sure because Samson suddenly committed suicide. That's when they discovered the papers were missing. I bet Jennifer stole those papers. I bet they were worth a lot of money. Then, I heard that old Lady Gale was very fond of Jennifer. Maybe she was going to leave her a lot of money. Anyway, I think something violent must have happened to her. That's ridiculous. You couldn't believe it if you read a diary. A diary? Of course, I knew there'd be a diary. What did it say? Nothing, nothing at all. Where did you find it? It doesn't matter, I, I found it. It's chilly down here, I'm going upstairs. Just driving by. Thought I'd see how you're getting along. Everything all right? Yes, thank you. Oren's in the basement. Yes, I know. I just left him. Something interesting? I found it in the fireplace. So? It's same handwriting that's in the diary. I know the whole story about Jennifer and those missing papers. Oren told me. Look, why don't you forget about Jennifer? It looked as if she planned to take a cruise. All right. So she took a cruise. I wonder. Perhaps she... Uh, 
furnace is working. We better get back to the store. See you soon. Get something? No, oh, I remembered something. Dinner. How about it? Oh, it's very nice of you, but. But what? I'm afraid I can't tonight. <laughs> Maybe you're right. It was only a bottle and a bird. Peasant's fair. See, I have to do a lot of shopping in Santa Barbara. Things I need. Sure. Well, some other time. If you need anything, yell. Bye. Bye. Padre must have been quite a guy. To build a string of these things, you had to believe in what you were doing. It was easier then. Why? Well, didn't have the problems we have now. Oh. Uh -huh. Machine age and everything. Uh huh. What makes you think the machine age is our real problem today? Yes. No. Well, our real problem today is the same one they had then. People. Did you ever have your feelings hurt by the super chief? Of course not. <laughs> What's that got to do with it? You have trouble with people. Me, for instance. You're uh, sensitive about people. I'm not sensitive. Of course you are. Look, I didn't say you were a liar or a cheat. I just said you were sensitive. Since when is that a dirty word? You make it sound like a disease. Watch it. I'm sensitive. Well, I'm glad to know you're something. Up till now, you've only made an issue of other people's feelings. Mostly mine. 
come on. Stop thinking you're the only one. It's a rough world for all of us. But do you know of a better one? No. That's my point. Well, thank you for the soda. This fast living is killing me. Why don't you drive home with me in my car? I can send somebody down to pick up yours in the morning. Why should we both drive all the way home alone? Well, uh, no, thank you. It's getting late. I really should be going. Good night. Good night. Run straight home. That's a good girl. Langley, the new caretaker. How do you do? You you do such a good job of keeping up this large place. Well, I do the best I can. I, I was told you'd leave a weekly bill. I leave it in the office. The office? Where's that? It's right up there off that wing. Oh. I suppose you knew Miss Jennifer quite well. I just left the bills at the office. Thanks, Frank. I 
guess that'll do it. I hope we didn't disturb you. We had to make some repairs on the roof. Here's your record. Thank you. Mind if I have a beer? I put some in with your order. Will you join me? No, thank you. How's everything going? All right. Say, what made you take a job like this, anyway? Can't be the money. I don't have the expenses here I have in town. Nor uh, most of the headaches, either, I guess. If they're the kind of headaches you can lean on. I got rid of most of mine. That's why I stay here. The first year I came up here was just to work for the season. Four months out of the year. I didn't know whether I'd like it or not. There wasn't much action for a city boy. Did you ever work in a hotel? No. Work them all. Bus boy to manager. That's where you really learn about people. Then I came here. I may never leave. I couldn't even if I wanted to. Everything I've got is tied up in this operation. There's only one thing missing. The right girl. All right. Let's have it. What is it? Well, you probably won't believe it. Try me. Maybe I will. I found Jennifer's bank book. This should prove she just didn't disappear. Look at the deposits. September 2nd, $500. September 10th, $1,000. September 15th, $250. September 21st, $1,800. Look at the balance, $70,000. There's a definite pattern. On the first and second of every month, there's a deposit of $500. Of course. Now I know. Don't you see? No. But I'm interested. Jennifer was a blackmailer. Yes, she... She worked for a prominent attorney. It was a scandal. He committed suicide. Papers were missing. She was investigated and cleared, of course. But now I know better. But she was just too smart for everyone. How was she smarter than everyone? She stole valuable information. That information could be worth a lot of money to certain people. Now, let's be logical. Drag little Jennifer was just a front for her blackmail. All the time she had other ideas. But that page from Vogue should prove it. She disappeared because she had all the money she wanted. She did? Yes. There are no withdrawals. What? If that is Jennifer's money, it's still there. Hello, Miss Langley. Uh, I was... On my way up to the Baker place, and I thought I'd drop in and see if you needed anything. No, I don't need anything. I uh, just thought I'd check. Well, I, I guess I better get up to the Baker place. You know how they are if the deliveries are late. Make sure it isn't. Right. See you later. Goodbye. Then Jennifer's dead. How did you arrive at that? There was someone in this house. I know it now. Maybe they were hunting for the missing papers. Maybe they killed her. When you jump at a conclusion, you really leap. Jennifer never left this house. That's why the police couldn't find her. She's dead. And she's here somewhere. All right. Let's look for her. In the cellar. That's where they usually bury somebody. No, that's too obvious. Besides, it's used too much. The grounds. Seven acres. Not with a gardener digging around. Where? Well, 
I discovered some stairs near the office. They lead below the house, even below the cellar. Now, before you go calling the police and scaring the life out of Lorna Gale and her family, let's make sure. Let's find out right now. I'll get the flashlight. to look some other place. No, let's forget about it. You know, there were no names on the bank book. Could have belonged to any one of the Gales. I know. I just don't know what's the matter with me anymore. I really thought she'd be down there. Jennifer's becoming quite a problem, isn't she? Every time I want to talk about you, you want to talk about Jennifer. Why? I don't know why. I wish I'd never heard of her. As far as I'm concerned, she doesn't exist. Well, we've uh, got to start someplace. Um, where were you born, Miss Langley? Well, if you must know, I was born in Ventura 32 years ago. Gender, female, occupation secretary, unmarried. Have you ever been? Married? No. Have you? Once. It didn't work out, but it wouldn't stop me from trying again. Close? Close to what? To being married. Yes, I was. I... At least I thought I was. What happened? Well, we were going to be married, and he... just went away and never came back, that's all. Did you hear from him? Yes, he wrote me from New York saying he was sorry. Later, I heard at the time he wrote the letter, he was already married. Why do you suppose he didn't come back? Well, I... I never thought much about it. What did you do besides not think much about it? Did you ask yourself why he didn't come back? Maybe I didn't have what he wanted. What did he want? I don't know. Maybe you do and you don't want to say. 
I suppose you do. Yes. I know what I want from a woman. It's obvious. Listen, Agnes. I don't think you should stay in this house all by yourself. It's too lonely here. I have to. Why don't you move down to the inn? You feel better there. No, thanks just the same. I, I can't. Well, okay. We're having our yearly preseason party down at the end tonight. Would you like to come? No, I don't think so. Agnes. About Jennifer. What? Forget her. I'll pick you up at eight. In my car. Langley. Hello, Aaron. Let's get it. I just wanted to ask you if you're not doing anything tonight. It's usually a lot of fun. Everybody goes. Huh? We're, we're having a dance at the inn tonight. It's the last chance I'll have before going back to school. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, Aaron. I've already been invited. Not by Hollis. Yes. Just now? That's right. Just by luck. I should have thought of it yesterday. Well, some other time. I'll see you tonight anyway. Anything new on Jennifer? No. Oh, Arn. Yeah? Boss wants to see you. Yeah, why? You have a theory for everything. Did you call me? Come in. Shut the door. Nineteen, sir. Well, there should be time enough for you to get some sense in that head of yours. In the first place, I'm paying you a salary to work for me. And in the second, I don't like you putting your nose where it doesn't belong. What have I done? You've been hanging around the Gale place and upsetting Miss Langley. I haven't been up there much. Just every time I've been up there, that's all. You know, it doesn't hurt you to play games, but you're causing trouble for other people. I didn't mean to. How? This Jennifer mystery you're building up. I didn't mean anything. Murder, blackmail, bank books. Cut it out. Yes, sir. Okay. Hello. Hello, Lana. How are you? Fine. Is something wrong? Yes, I'm going to be brief. It's about Jennifer. What about Jennifer? Did you say Jennifer? Just a minute, Jim. It's nothing, Mother. Nothing at all. Jim, please. Mother's here. You know what a problem I have with her. I'm sorry. I can't help it. Jim, please. The Springs operator listens to everything. I'll be up tomorrow. I've got to straighten this out right now. Jim, please. There's something I must tell you, but I can't right now. You've got to wait until tomorrow. All right. I'll meet you at the end. Don't be late.
this evening. You know, I I've never really had fun like this before. You have? No, never. You should always look the way you look tonight. How do I look? Happy. You know, I really think I am. And, and it's all your fault. Do you realize if it hadn't been for you, I'd have been having dinner all alone this evening. Wandering around that big house, locking all the doors. <laughs> Probably just like poor Jennifer. Did you... Did you like my dress? Beautiful. First time I've ever worn it.
you. Did I do something? No. Thought it was someone else. I'm going out. With Hollis? I just left him at the inn. He was talking with Lorna Gale. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. About what? Jim Hollis and Lorna Gale. I think they're involved with Jennifer's disappearance. You didn't tell me about this. When did you get it? I found it in Hollis's desk. Didn't you give it to me? I, I don't know. I don't remember. But this is why Lorna Gale is up here today. This book is important. I think I understand now why he told me not to talk to you about Jennifer anymore. Who told you not to talk to me about Jennifer? Hollis did, yesterday. He told me to keep my nose out of your affairs or else. Now I know why. Are you sure it was him with Lorna Gale? Of course I'm sure. I knew it. They're both involved with Jennifer's disappearance. I think you better go now. Well, what are we going to do about Jennifer? Please, just go.
Agnes. Go on. Go and kill me. You killed her, didn't you? Stop it, do you hear? You murdered her, I know now. Listen to me, will you? You murdered her because I found her body. Agnes, you couldn't have found her body. She's dead, yes, but she died in a sanitarium. She was insane. You're lying. No. Agnes, stop it. Come back. Agnes! <laughs> Keep away from me. Keep away from don't me. Don't you understand? I didn't murder Jennifer. I don't believe you. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to make me think I'm insane. Well, I'm not insane. I tell you, I found her body. Where did you find her body? You know where she is. No, but you're going to show me. Don't let me go. You're going to show me. Show me. No, let me go. Let me go. No. You're going to show me where Jennifer is. No. No. Gail's made up. Right or wrong, they couldn't face the idea of insanity in the family. They put her in a sanitarium where she died a few days ago. That's what Lorna came to tell me. But the things I found, the diary, the bank book. That was her insanity. She did all those things, but it was all part of her imagination. Her imagination? Yes, just her imagination. I'm not like Jennifer. No, you're not like Jennifer. She was sick and alone. You aren't. Not anymore. 